Hello guys, welcome to the Mining Infotech channel. In our last video, I demonstrated how to import topography or AutoCAD data to create a 3D model and then import CSV data to complete the 3D model and district software. Today, I will show you how to create a solid and divide it into different benches and finish by creating attributes using Farmola. Let's get started. First, go to the layer control and reduce preference data. We will use this data for the continuation of our training. Then we will create current phase design layer. Current phase design layer and make sure that it is activated. This layer will contain all phases for mining design. Regardless of how many layers there are, we will store them in the current phase design. Within the current, let's rename it to current phase design. We will create within this layer another layer. Is phase one layer. Make sure it is activated and save. And, and this is phase one or design layer. In the phase one, first we will create a sub layer as design. Make sure it is activated and take proper. Now we will drag. Now we will uh, now we have data for the phase one design layer. This file we will import this data to be design. This is our design data. Okay. In the phase one, let's have deactivated. In the phase one, we will create another layer. Is a surface. Make it activate. Now we will import data for the surface. We have data for phase one surface is this one zero six tr, which is the parent layer, and tr is the string file. You will import this data. This is our surface data for phase one. Now create another line, another layer named current photo copy and make sure it is activated. And the uh, deactivate all other layers, import data of Import data for topography. We have data regiment data for topography here. The first file is of just of contour, the second is parent file, and third one is our DTA or TR file. We will import it for the topography. This is our Bakura B. You can check it. Now I'm going to create another uh, layer and design. To do this, I will add another layer. Now we have design layer and this so uh, design we will create solid phase of our design. I will create another layer is in the design is face solid. Sorry, the design layer is main layers for so, regular to the main heading line. 
Now to create the face solid, let me show you that we have the topography and the surface of face one design. We have surface this. I want to create a solid between the topography and the design. So make sure that phase solid here is activated as we as we will work. Now go to the surface command menu and press spotting. This will separate the topography and with design to create a solid between the topography and the pit design. Click on coding. You got the first message. Select the first surface to be merged. Right click or escape to cancel. Our first surface is topography. And now I got another message. Or select the second surface to be merged with the surface. Must and set completely right click on finish. Okay. Right click. Now I have to specify the layer that will contain my design. My design layer is face solid. Select face solid, it gets done. Now I have my solid. You can rotate it in different direction. Change it to color by left click on it. Let I select this color and it's done. You can realize it in that direction. If you, if you want to remove some portion of from the solid, like in this case, I want to remove this portion for this. First, I have to activate the design and then go to the surface, click on crop, select entity, in this case, existing growth line, I have too many. Keep the data inside, activate the solid layer, it will be still. Now, message select close, fully line to the left, the right click to finish. This can list uh, this letter, this fully line can be moving work. I selected it. This is the fully line I selected. Right click, right to act. Next up, you can see that all other is all of the portion was removed. Next step. Now that's how uh, you can do it in that direction. Now let's let, get back to the main topic. Now we need to cut this solid. Activate the design. This solid into several benches so that we can calculate the volume of each bench. Let's start from the top for safety. Create a copy of the face solid so that you have a pickup in case we lose any data. You can do this by pressing control button and dragging the face solid. Press control and drag it back. Now I have a copy of it. I can work in the new copied layer. Now we have this copy to work in it and we are safe. Now go to the solid and select split. I will split and then split by plan. In the solid plane we want to work with elevation. Visible entity activate solid layer and we want to work with the elevation. Now to get to the elevation switch back to the activated design this one to measure the elevation go to the view select plan by two point and then work select vertical view plan by two point select vertical now 
ہمیشہ دکھائی تھا بینک جہاں آئی کین گو ٹو جنرل اینڈ کلک ڈسٹینس You see that the D that is 15 meter. This is the height of our bench. Here is the summary of our bench minus 15 meter. Now let's get our star operation for the division again with the bench height of 15 meter. Now select the body and click on solid. Select split by plan. Choose select entities, elevation for 105 meter is our highest elevation of design. Then select split solid spacing. Our increment in this case is 15 meter. Elevation the height of the bench and choose the number of benches to the data extent and press OK. Here is our solid split into benches. You can see in Z direction. Okay. Now, apart from that, I want to show you uh, how to create attributes using formulas. This option is used to separate our benches, count them, and assign a number to each one. To do this, go to the general and select set by formula, set by formula. In set formula, you can either edit the default or add a new one. For instance, I edit the default and go add to name of Full name of bench. Now come to add new row and select attribute. Now then the new row that's I bench to the attribute and change the formula to standard. Bench. Change the number to standard set many press OK. Here you can see when you click on a bench, you can see the number of the bench. Different benches here or different numbers. You can see it in that direction. You can see here the right number. Thank you for watching the videos. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to save before closing. Thank you.